interesting thing is, is once I started doing it, once I started taking on all the challenges of this new business, I started realizing a whole bunch of other things that I was good at that I'd either forgotten I was that I was good at or had never really tried because I thought, I don't know nothing about that. And, you know, a couple of examples. When I decided to get a website and sell equipment online, I had to learn how to hand code HTML. That was my first big challenge. And, you know, it was one of those things that it could have easily overwhelmed me because, you know, you look at people's websites and you think, how do they make all that crazy stuff happen? And you're going to figure out how to do it one line of code at a time. I realize is, is you, well, you don't, you know, you don't learn how to build a, a website in one sitting. You first learn how to create the basic page or select your colors. And then you figure out how to add a link or how to embed a photo mm -hmm. or how to put your email address up, so, up there so somebody can click it and send you an email. So, you know, it's a, it's a gradual process, probably over five or six months to where I got to where I could do the website, but you know, then you have to you figure out what you're going to charge people. How do you get them to the website, recording videos, social media, so many things that I had to learn. And I think the one thing that really helped me a lot in that, in those early days was I did not really realize how big the job was. I was so focused on solving the problem in front of me today that I didn't really realize how big a job I was doing. And even now, when I tell people so, the, the stories from those days, they're like, Max, you realize what you did? And I tell them, most of the time my answer is no, I really don't. Yeah. It really doesn't, doesn't, it really doesn't sink into my brain that, you know, you did something that a lot of sighted people would have said, no way in heck, I can't do it. But yep. because, because I've approached it, you know, one small problem at a time, yep. instead of looking at, this big pile of stuff that I've got to figure out how to do, I was able to, to, you know, to take that first step and then the next step and then continue. And I tell you, there were times in the middle of the night when you're trying to figure out which one of those stupid less thans or greater thans or slashes you got wrong because your page won't load, but you can do it. I did it. And a lot of people say, if Mike's can do it, then what's my excuse? So that's, the book is a lot about, uh, you know, celebrating, learning how to celebrate successes, learning how to ask for help, finding solutions, taking, breaking things down into small bits and doing the, the things you can right now. So those are some of the things that I talk about in that first book. And yeah. uh, I want to thank you for, for checking out the audio book because I've been told it's a uh, very uh, inviting and mm -hmm. it's not uh, intimidating at all as far as a motivational self-help book goes. Yeah, it's a really lovely book. I enjoyed it and I admit that I listened to it in one sitting and I've got to go back through it and do it again as instructed because I was not <laughs> taking the well, time to stop and do the writing that you're asking people to do and to figure out some of the things I didn't go through that. And I'm like, wow, this is awesome. It's a great method that you've put together. You know, you were asking me before if there have been times when I didn't think that I was good enough. And that first book is is one of those things. I had that book written uh, for several months before I finally started the process of publishing it. I kept asking people what they thought about it because I thought it wasn't a big enough book. I didn't think there were enough stories in it. I didn't think that, uh, that the lessons in them were all that especially uh, earth shattering or you know but uh finally a woman a friend of mine that's a coach in california she said you know max you've talked about your editor lorraine regularly on your blog so i know who you i know who you usually work with if you're going to have something edited mm -hmm. if you don't send the book to her i'm going to send it to her for you because there's nothing wrong with this book yeah but yeah. you know i thought it had to be 150 pages or it had to have something in it that nobody had ever said before or in a way nobody had ever said it. But it turns out that the book is the perfect size. It's, uh, I've been told it's, it's the kind of book that you could carry around with you in your purse or your briefcase if you needed to. <laughs>